we're, we're seeing often, like in the 21st century, that the church is investing so much on talent, equipment, mm. and whether it's lights, the stages, and so on. Mm. But they forgetting about the main part which you're speaking about the heart yes and in thinking about this like well how could someone fix it as an individual mm. and how could a church fix it as as a group of believers mm. that, that's something people would have to really test their hearts on yeah. and i think that you know that that pretty famous song I'm coming back to the heart of worship mm. you know it's having that perspective that we've lost what worship was along the way yes and we want to come back and honor God again yeah we want to make sure that what the mouth is saying is what's in our heart Amen. and it's not two different messages it's not like my heart is saying something else and then my mouth is worshiping God. Mm. And to God, as as you read in Matthew 15, it seems like to God, he's more bothered about the voice of the heart than your vocal voice of your mouth. He's, he's not seeking pleasantries. He's, mm. seeking, he's seeking someone that's faithful, someone that's loyal, someone that truly loves him as was commanded by us. The commandment wasn't say nice words to God, it's to love him. <laughs> Um, and I think that's very important. I mean, if you have a friend that just says nice things to you, but then the way he acts, he clearly doesn't care about you. What good is that friendship? It's dead. It's pointless. It has no merit. It's, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Wow. That, that's, that's definitely something to always examine someone, someone, mm. you know, themselves. And, and I think we should be examining our worship every day in our life because sometimes even an ant is worshiping God better than us because it's doing everything that it was designed for. It's going according to what God willed for it. And yet we don't. Sometimes we go against that, but the ant doesn't. Mm. It protects its queen. It builds its nest. It gets food for its babies. It did what God wanted it to do. Yeah. We don't. Sometimes we don't do that. We, we're worse than them in, in our worship. And it's kind of sad. Um, but especially because we were created for worship. Mm. God literally created us designed us to worship him and yeah. we don't do that it's it's the most basic of reasons why we're created and we fall short of that sometimes and it's sad yeah oh well that's what psalms 156 say like 150 verse 6 mm. um there's only 150 <laughs> chapters uh let everything that has breath praise the lord praise the lord amen so this whole what is my purpose in life as a christian i don't need to look any further my purpose is to glorify to serve to honor my lord to worship him Amen. and also to accept his son because he's the one that died for my sin and he was resurrected and that gives me hope that death is not my final destination that's right. there is life in jesus and that's that's what we have i think if there is any reason for any human being to worship God, there's no better reason than that. Yeah. It's to say, God, is this what you've done for me? You've actually sent your son. He died on the cross for me. He took <coughs> away my sin. Mm. And even though I was guilty, instead of you choosing to judge me, you Save gave me, me mercy. Yeah. Right? that's that's amazing like the more you meditate on things like that the more you think man god god is not just worthy of worship <laughs> there's no limit to worshiping god amen but in also saying that i think um we we do tend it is in our nature we do tend to um i guess emotionally worship god and I'm not talking about um, some people find certain worship emotional, some people not. I'm, I'm talking about in the sense of if life is going well for me and I'm feeling these quote unquote good vibes and yeah. happy and so on, 
it's easy for me to worship, you know. But if life is a struggle, um, I think it gives a struggle for me to worship. Like I'm, I'm like I don't feel like worshiping God. Mm. So by saying I don't feel, it just shows that my emotions are dictating whether I will worship God today or not. True. And um, one one of my favorite uh, Christian songs, it. I think it's called praise the lord it says praise the lord like when when the world you know when things are going good when you're on the mountain but also praise god when things are going bad and Amen. when you're in the valley and and it says the reason why because jesus christ is lord so Amen. whether you feel like you're in a valley jesus christ is lord. lord jesus christ is in control whether you're on mountaintop and life is going great for you guess what jesus, christ, jesus is christ is lord he is always in control amen so i think that's something important and if i look at the bible i find the apostles you know um when they are imprisoned you mm -hmm. see them worshiping and praising god like paul yeah and, and you would think what reason does that person have to worship god mm -hmm. And the answer is, well, it's not about a reason. It's not about emotions. It's about me worshiping God because he is worthy and he is Lord.